Hey folks, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I am going to tell you how to flash a custom kernel in your device. You can flash custom kernel in any device using this step by step guide. So let's see. First of all, let me tell you why to flash a custom kernel. Custom kernel have a lot of advantages. First is that they have a better CPU tuning. Another thing is that they have a good battery life. And one more thing is that they help you increase in multitasking as well. Uh, well, this device is not so much powerful, so you will not see a major difference, but you will see some battery optimizations and you can see a good multitasking as well instead of that stock boot kernel. So, let's see how to flash your custom kernel in your Redmi 9A device. What you will need is you will need the custom kernel file and a custom recovery in your device. So, as you can see, I have this file downloaded in my folder so now let us boot into the recovery so i'm using an orange fox recovery you can use any recovery now what we have to do first of all we have to create a backup of our stock kernel it's because if you want to again go back to your stock kernel that you can use that backup file to boot into the stock kernel so what you have to do is you have to select a storage first of all i am using my sd card right now then you have to click on new backup here you have to select the boot image that i have selected as you can see uh, you can change name over here as well i am changing it to kernel now after changing the name what you have to do is you just have to swipe so it will start taking the backup of the kernel As you can see the process has been completed and the backup has already been saved. Now we have to flash the custom kernel file. So locate the custom kernel in your internal storage or in your SD card. As you can see here is my custom kernel file and now we are gonna just flash it simply. As you can see it's flashing. Now the flash has been done and the custom kernel has been flashed successfully. Now just reboot into system. So we are in our system, let us go to the settings and see if the custom kernel has been successfully flashed or not. So as you can see, I have this custom kernel uh, flashed successfully in my device and the version of this custom kernel is upstreamed as you can see. So this is how you can flash a custom kernel in any device that you want. Uh, this is a very simple process anyone can do. So that's it for today's video guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you like it. And if you want to flash custom kernel, hope you'll successfully be able to flash a custom kernel in your device using this method so thanks for watching and uh, you can appreciate me by subscribing the channel uh, thanks a lot